welcome to Disciples Prosper. Grateful to have you here today. I am going to discuss about living beneath our privileges. And it's basically, I want to start off with uh, Elder Uchtdorf, uh, Dieter F. Uchtdorf, who gave an address with, I believe, a similar title. And in it, he tells an analogy uh, of a, a guy who got on, a, he saved for many years to get go on this cruise ship ride. And with that trip, he, 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 he packed a full suitcase full of food, some canned food that he'd saved up so he could eat during this trip. And he goes on this cruise, saves up and goes on this cruise, and each goes has, has fun with all the activities. And then when it comes time to eat, he goes down to his room, opens another can of food, and eats it, and um, saves up. And then on the last day, he decided that he wanted to join the party that happened during dinner time. He felt like, you know, I have enough money to, to buy one one meal. I'm, I may be butchering this exactly how he told it, but it's, it's, this is how I remember it. But he, he goes up and he discovers that the parties and the meals and everything was all inclusive for this this trip. So here he was eating canned food when he could have been having a banquet every day. And I want to liken that unto our lives. We have access to God's power through the Holy Ghost. And with that gift that is that fills us with love and joy and all the fruits of the Spirit, etc. With that gift, He, that is God, endows us with knowledge, endows us with the gift to comprehend all things we learn in the scriptures. And he wants, God wants to pour down this knowledge upon the saints, as it says in, in the Doctrine and Covenants, section 121, verse 33. Now, he wants to pour it down, and in, in that verse, it describes it as if it was the Missouri River. So not just a little sprinkling here and there of, of knowledge, but to pour it down like a mighty Missouri River. Mighty, like, this isn't a little stream we're talking about. We're talking about a massive, massive river. He wants to pour that knowledge down upon us, but it requires of us to have a heart and a mind single to Him in His glory. And when it is, He tells us that we begin to comprehend all things. We are, we are filled with light. Uh, the Doctrine and Covenants section 88, verse 67. Like, this is this is the path to becoming like him. He is the man of holiness. And to become like that, we must be holy men and women. And the only way to do that is to access his divine power through obedience. Live what you know to be true now. Take accountability for where you are now. What you allow in your body. Food and entertainment and reading, etc. Because what you get outputs of what you put in it's the divine law in action what you com what comes in must come out and when you your eye is single to him you are filled with this love and you are filled with his gifts and his powers and you are enabled to do more than you can on your own and become more than you can on your own dare i say more than you can imagine at this current point no, when I was 10, I, I didn't know what I wanted to become, didn't have any idea because what I wanted to become and now I've discovered in my this year that I turned 50 is that what I wanted was an ex in existence back then. You know, being on having a video podcast didn't exist 40 years ago. <laughs> like, it's, But the thing that did exist was having an eye single to the glory of God from age 18, I've strove to do that. And yes, it's had bumps and yes, it's had challenges and yes, it's had trials, all part of his plan of happiness to bring me to humility, to draw me closer to him rather than to make me a victim. And I'm so grateful for the things that I have been through and the trials and tribulations, etc., because they prepared me to live not beneath my privileges, but to live my privileges, which are to have access to the Holy Ghost, which are to do his work. And um, so grateful for life, 
for family, for uh, car washes that are closed when they, I thought they were supposed to be open, and that's okay. So thank you for joining me. Please just turn to the Lord and, and with sincere intent, pray to Him. Ask Him to fill you with His power, with the Holy Ghost, to, to help you understand as you read the scriptures, to have them open to you and to lift your understanding and to lift your comprehension so that you can learn greater obedience and grow line upon line. You see, he wants to teach you. He wants to give you this knowledge as, as much as <laughs> he wants you to become like him. That is his work and glory to help you become like him. That's his, that's his work. So in, in conclusion, turn to him draw near to him and he will draw near to you. The scriptures tell us in Doctrine and Covenants section 88, 63 through 68 are fantastic. Highly recommend those. And he, he'll, as you draw near to him and he draws near to you, you are filled more and more with his spirit and it teaches you what is expedient for you to have. Doctrine and Covenants section 18, 18. Like when you move forward with faith in Christ and you have this gift of the Holy Ghost, it will teach you what is expedient and what to ask for because if you ask for something that's not expedient make it make your prayers a shopping list of what you want what the natural carnal man wants that's it's it could be, turn out to a curse for you you'll, you'll probably get those things but what good is it to get all of the world of wealth and lose your soul in the process so if we're to become like him we need to turn everything over to him and he will endow you with power understanding and knowledge and give you peace despite what's going on in the world give you peace and comfort in your home in your family in your work and it's, it's true I've seen it over and over in my life and yes I have had trials and yes I have had tribulations and each of those were designed to humble me and help me recognize his hand and his power because you know, when you, when you live and you, and things are working out and all things are going into your towards your favor, as we learn in Helaman in chapter twelve, verse verse two, that's when often we forget him. We don't recognize that we haven't had all our incomings and outgoings in his name. We haven't said uh, our prayers before we do a podcast, for example, or before we go to work, or before we talk to a client, and after we talk to a client. And, be, and before we commute to work and when we return home from work and before we go into our home and embrace our family and after when we go to bed like, like there's so much and praying always is a literal thing like we need to have our heart centered on God and he will not only give us knowledge and power and, and understanding but he will allow his presence to be with you so that those that come in contact with you can feel of his love and you can represent him at, as as a true disciple because as we learn in Moroni 7 48 true disciples are filled with that love and furthermore they pray for and ask for with real sincere intent to receive that love because it is a gift and it's a gift the one gift that never faileth we learn so turn to him, receive his love, go forward, do good in the world and magnify your talents, magnify your career, uh, magnify your family by being a servant and lifting and helping one another. Uh, have a beautiful day.